Hello, I'm Frank Bauer, the International Chair of ARIS, Amateur Radio on the International Space Station. My Amateur Radio call sign is KA3HDO. Amateur Radio is also referred to as Ham Radio. The call you just heard was the start of one of over 1,300 school events sponsored by ARIS. Let's beam up to the space station and hear about our program from astronaut Tim Peake. Hi everyone, I'm Tim Peake and welcome aboard the International Space Station where we're orbiting Earth 16 times every day. One of the most rewarding activities that some astronauts undertake on orbit is to talk to schools using the space station's ham radio. Now these are events that are planned by ARIS, which is a worldwide group of amateur radio volunteers who are dedicated to introducing young people and students to science, technology, engineering and mathematics. ARIS is a brilliant opportunity for astronauts to talk to school pupils. It's really rewarding to hear how excited the students are when they're talking to somebody up here in space. And it's a true privilege to be able to inspire our next generation of scientists and engineers through amateur radio. ARIS is excited to celebrate 20 years on ISS this November. Installation and checkout operations by the Expedition 1 crew just 11 days after their arrival makes ARIS the first operational educational outreach system on ISS. The ARIS program, encompassing education, flight hardware development, and ISS operations, is performed almost entirely by an enthusiastic international team of ham radio volunteers that are driven to inspire, engage, and educate our youth in STEM topics and enable lifelong learning for ham radio operators. In 20 years, the ARIS team has learned countless lessons. Today, I will focus on three, international collaboration, the motivation power of ARIS contacts, and improved educational outcomes. The ARIS International Working Group exemplifies lesson one, international collaboration. ARIS forged international bonds early. These diverse partnerships enabled stimulating educational opportunities for students and lifelong learning for ham radio operators. Examples include two-way voice and data, TV downlinks, flight experiments, in-space engagement projects, and SuitSat, a ham radio in a space suit. Our international collaboration enabled hardware systems and multiple ISS modules. This provides operational robustness that supports our role as a backup communications capability, as well as continuity of school contact operations. Lesson two is the motivation power of an ARIS contact. Each contact is a remarkable spark that is forever life-changing. It motivates youth to engage and learn about STEM and exercise their creativity through art projects and science demonstrations. It inspires the public attending on contact day, and it motivates our volunteers to donate thousands of hours each year to inspire our next generation of explorers. Lesson three. A decade ago, ARIS set out to enhance our student educational outcomes. Working with NASA, our school selection process was transformed to a competitive request for proposals based on planned educational content. More recently, we appointed two dozen educational specialist volunteers that develop ARIS educational products and mentor and guide each school before, during, and after the contact to maximize the student's educational experience. In 20 years, the ARIS program jump-started countless students' technical careers and affected millions from all walks of life. But that is just our beginning. 
Our Russian team lead, Sergei Sombrov, is the great-grandson of Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, a renowned Russian philosopher and one of the fathers of rocketry, who said, the earth is the cradle of humanity, but one cannot live in a cradle forever. Eris has achieved permanence in space through our participation on ISS. We are now on the threshold of taking our program and our youth into deep space. We are working on systems that could fly on the Lunar Gateway and on robotic orbiters and landers that are targeted at the moon and beyond. As we look to the future, ARIS very much hopes to continue its partnership with the space agencies and commercial entities to enable students to venture out of Earth's cradle and into deep space.